Hi guys, welcome back to Sharks Part 2. Yesterday we started reading this book and it talks all about different kinds of sharks, how dangerous they are, and lots of features of their body. And the author uses a lot of text features to help us learn. So let's read some more. Next up is the Sand Tiger Shark. He's got a danger rating of only one jaw. If we flip back to the front, remember we learned that one jaw, mean, jaw means harmful but unlikely to attack. All right, this shark, also called the ragged tooth shark, is not actually as scary as it looks. Sand tigers spend most of their time slowly swimming around reefs and wrecks, feeding on squid and slippery fish, which their teeth are designed to catch. So it seems like we better check out those teeth. Huh, can you see why they get the name raggedy tooth? or ragged tooth. It says sand tigers gulp air and then burp to control their buoyancy. Buoyancy has to do with how they are swimming in the water. Hmm, pretty interesting. And the sand tiger shark is 10 feet, so a little longer, taller than an average human. Let's check out the blue shark next. Blue sharks are found in the deep water of oceans all over the world where they often form large groups or schools of sharks. They are long and sleek with a pointed snout and are fast swimmers. What do you think a snout might be? It's got to be talking about their bodies, right? Because it says they're long and sleek with a pointed snout. Well, if you look at the picture, do you see something pointed? Yep. So snout is like another word for nose. Their name comes from the distinctive purple-blue color of their skin. This beautiful, fast-swimming shark is prized by fishermen around the world. He gets a danger rating of two jaws. He's about 12 feet long. This shark is also known as the blue dog or blue whaler shark. All right, next up is the basking shark. Whoa, never seen this guy before. Basking sharks are huge, but have very tiny, almost useless teeth. Like the whale shark, it filters its food out of the water using gill rakers. It's a good time to look at the diagram because it's showing us gill rakers, filter food from the water. Also called sunfish, they spend most of their time close to the water surface basking in the sun. It says they have very rough skin. Wow, what a funky looking shark. He has zero jaws, so that means he's basically harmless to humans. And his average length, whoa, it's 23 feet. Look how long that is compared to an average human. All right, next up is the mako shark. Of all sharks, makos are the fastest swimmers. They can reach speeds of up to 20 miles per hour and leap high out of the water. I didn't know sharks could leap. Fishermen like to catch makos, but are often bitten when they reel them in. Ooh, they have a three jaw danger warning. They are also about 10 feet long. It says they have razor tart sharp teeth that are long and smooth. Ooh, check those out. And large black eyes. I don't know if I'd be brave enough to go fishing for one of those. All right, I've never heard of this guy before, but I can sound it out. I'm thinking that this part says wob, e and gong, wobby gong. So probably either wobby gong or wobbagon. The wobby gong shark. The wabigon shark's unusual markings help to keep them hidden in the coral reefs in which they live. Wabigongs are nocturnal and rest on the sea bottom in the day. Mm, that's a pretty important word to understand. The authors put it in bold. We can figure it out if we think about the rest of the sentence. They're nocturnal and they rest in the day. So if they're resting during the day, hmm, when do you usually rest? Yeah, at night, right? It says they're resting at day. So when do you think that they're up and swimming around? If they're sleeping during the day, it means they're probably hunting at night. So nocturnal means animals that are active at night instead of during the day. They are not aggressive, but if disturbed, they will give a very nasty bite and will not let go. So they have a danger rating of one jaw and they're not that long, about six feet. So pretty similar to an average human. They have spotted patterned skin and a long, flat, flexible body. Next up is the nurse shark. It says, 
These slow moving sharks feed on shellfish on the sea bottom where they use their strong pectoral fins to walk through the sand. Nurse sharks will not attack unless they are disturbed but have a very powerful crushing bite. So nurse sharks are about six feet in length. They have one jaw danger rating. Unlike like most sharks, their skin is smooth and it says barbells used to touch and taste for food on the sea bottom. Check those out, barbells. Huh, all kinds of cool sharks. Well, I hope you'll join me next time for one more day of these amazing, interesting animals. Thanks, see you next time.